Hi! Welcome to the part 2 of my coloring tutorial video with Krita 2.9. As usual, all my excuse for my French accent are the way I'm spelling in English. In the previous video we saw how to color flat area on a line art with the very cool gimmick filters and Krita. In this video I'll show you how to shade the area very fast. We can do this thanks to a new feature, Split Layers. But before applying our Split Layer features, we need to clean our Color Area layer. Our Color Area layer isn't perfect. There is a lot of little zones that are not color red or that color outside of the wanted area. If we want to fix the Color Area layer, we will need to use a tool doing a strong aliasing. It means if you zoom, you can see all the little pixels doing stairs. A good preset to do this is to take the experiment tool and go to the brush editor, press the hard edge checkbox. Now you'll have a tool that able to do some strong aliasing and fix your color map. When the color map is fixed, it's a good time to start to split the layers. To do so, you can go to the menu and select Layers, Split Layers. A dialog will appear on the screen and you can play with the fuzziness parameters and then press OK. Now the layer with your flat area will be exploded into many layers inside a group. Each one of these layers represents a flat color. I will call them Island for this tutorial. All the islands have alpha protection. It means you can't paint outside of the island. This will help us a lot to paint very clean zone and not paint outside where we don't want to have colors. To select an island, no need to guess where is the good layer in your layer stack. You just have to use the R key in Krita and pick the layer directly on the canvas. You can now shade or paint inside each island separately and repeat the process, pick another island with the R key and shade it again. You can also change all the color of an island using the Ctrl U on the keyboard to change the U and saturation. When your shading work is done, you can flatten all the group with a simple right click on the group in the layer stack and then click on convert to a paint layer.
So now it's the end of my part 2 videos. I hope you learned something with it. And as always, thanks for watching.